Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a what fits video. Um, it's going to be the Neverfull pouch which I purchased last week. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of what fits inside um, because it's so flat. Um, yeah, I just wanted to go through it and kind of figure it out myself as well what fits. So when I was deciding if I wanted um, to get this pouch, um, I've been trying to work out kind of what fits um, and I've been trying to find out whether it fits um, a UK A5 piece of paper but it seems like I couldn't find out from anyone like people <laughs> kind of couldn't tell me or they kind of just never replied to some of my messages so I couldn't work out whether it fits. I did look up the measurements of the pouch and um, compared it to an A5 piece of paper and I thought it it fits. Um, so even just trying to place the A5 bit of paper inside is kind of, I can't get it in without creasing the bit of paper. So I'd say an A5 piece of paper doesn't fit, unfortunately. Um, but if you fold it into, um, if you fold it twice, kind of, which I'll show you, this way, and then this way, like kind of a standard um, like letter way of folding, then that would fit. That will definitely fit in there. Um, it's still a little bit tricky to get in, I'd say, but it, it will fit. Like that. that wasn't actually that, that difficult. So that actually fits in there. So if you want to use this as um, for documents and things, um, you'll kind of have to fold the A4 piece of paper twice to actually fit into the pouch. Just to show you some other larger items that I have that could fit, this is my tablet, which is the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro. Um, I believe this is the 8.2 inch um, that I got from Hong Kong in 2014, so quite a long time ago. I know a lot of people compare it with the iPad mini, but I don't actually have any Apple products, so I can't show you, so I'll show you with this tablet. And, um, yeah, putting it up against it, it fits, but actually trying to put it in, I can't actually fit it in. It's too big for the pouch. Next up I have my Kindle which also has a case, it's the magnetic case so when you open it it kind of just um, turns the screen on for you and when you close it it's a bit like a book and then it kind of switches off on, it puts it on standby I believe. There you go. My Kindle, um, this is a lot smaller so I'd imagine it would fit quite easily. There you go, it slides in with no problem. Let's try zipping it up. So it does fit. Now I'll show you with my Zippy Compact Wallet. This is the old model that I have, so it opens up flat like that. Um, I'll just show you how it fits inside the pouch. Definitely bulkier. I'll try zipping it up. It does zip up, but it makes the zip very wonky. And to be honest, I don't think I would put this wallet in this pouch because if I only need to take my wallet and my phone, I'll just put my phone inside and take this, just this out with my phone in there. So I won't actually need the pouch to put this wallet in really. A small ring agenda or the agenda PM, which also has a pen in there. So it makes it a little bit bulky. Um, I'll try putting that in there. That way it doesn't fit, but it fits this way. Uh, let's try zipping it up. It does zip with the zip being slightly wonky again. So then it's down to using this as a clutch. Um, I do like that it's, that it's got a separate slot in there so you can kind of separate things even though I probably won't really need to but it's nice to have. So I'm going to start putting some of the things in if I were to go really compact and you can have a look what fits. So this is my key clay, my key pouch in the vernie leather. So if I were to put my cards and cash in there, I can slide that in. I have my round coin purse, which fits comfortably next to it. And I'll probably take my phone as well. Mine's the HTC One M8. And slide that in. Just try zipping it up. So that works but I probably would just put coins into my key pouch so I won't need my round coin purse. Instead I could put lip gloss, maybe a lipstick as well. And then you can still zip up. Oops. Still a little bit wonky but it does fit. 
maybe taking out the key pouch and putting in my business card holder which is in the emprunt leather instead let's try that out oh the phone doesn't fit that way so it has to be kind of lengthway like that maybe I won't take both maybe just one lipstick or a lip gloss and then maybe my six ring key holder it might be a bit tight I think because I've got <laughs> it's quite bulky my keys and I've got a car key in there and a lot of keys so that'll be very bulky so I don't I can't zip up and I'm not even going to try because I don't want to um, cause any damage so if I do need to take keys I probably take it out of my um, my key holder so I would only take the keys that I actually need or maybe put it into a um, key clay the canvas key clay so here's the key clay in the monogram print so that would slide in and let's try zipping it up so that's quite a good fit I do like this combination of business card holder, key clay, some lip product or anything kind of similar size to this and my phone which is probably all I would need if I were to go out to dinner or something and if I'm not driving I probably won't even need keys and um, yeah so it gives you even more kind of space to put something else in it maybe a mirror or something like that or if I only need to take maybe my house key I can always just put it in this as well so I won't even need to take the key pouch which again leaves more room maybe instead of the business card holder if you want it to be even flatter I think this would probably work really well as a wallet instead so really I've got sort of card cash and probably even key in this one as well my phone and that's probably all I need and maybe just a lip gloss but to be honest I don't really touch up lipstick or lip gloss when I go out um, I kind of just can't be bothered <laughs> It's a shame that I can't fit my six ring key holder in there, um, which is a little bit too bulky, but if that actually fit in, then that'd be perfect. Like I would actually get rid of the lip gloss and then put my keys in there. And then those would really be my bare essentials that I need if I were to go out. So that'd be good, but it's not a problem. It still fits a good amount or if it's the amount that I actually need. This item is indeed very flat and I would say yes, so you can't fit very much in it um, but if you wanted to carry kind of the bare essentials um, then it's, it's doable definitely um, and um, I probably won't take anything to put my cards and cash in, I'll probably just slip it in the pocket inside and just take um, keys and phone, like really just the bare minimum um, of items but I do love the way it looks as a clutch, I think it just looks it's very classy and the quality of it is actually really good um, it feels really nice and sturdy which um, with all the, like kind of the quality issues recently it's quite surprising <laughs> um, I do really love it um, yeah I got one that doesn't actually match the interior of my Neverfall GM but um, I, I didn't actually want one to use it with my Neverfall I just wanted it as a separate item so um, a brighter colour would be nice and um, some people kind of mentioned that it's the LV logo is uh, right is correct on one side, like it's the right way up, but then when you flip it, it's kind of upside down on the other side. Um, the reason being is because the canvas is one piece of canvas which is folded this way. So um, if you can see at the top, so it's folded in half at the top, but these are these bits at the ends are still kind of connected, so it's still one piece, and they kind of cut this bit in to put the zip inside um, that's why it's kind of upside down on the other side because um, I, yeah I, I've heard some people kind of say I wonder why if it's like two pieces stuck together why couldn't they make it um, the right way up on the other side um, yes yeah, so I just thought I'll mention it <laughs> so that was my very quick what fits in my Neverfall pouch um, if you do have any questions please leave them down below and hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye